I mean, the imposter has been so well received in this country, but are you surprised to be up for all these sort of nominations today? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think we were. I think um, we always wanted it to play as a movie movie. We didn't want it necessarily to be categorised as a sort of documentary, as a smaller kind of film. So I think um, it's great. And, and particularly, it seems like this, uh, this award in particular has kind of taken it to heart as the it shouldn't necessarily just be a doc that it should play or be considered like a movie. Yeah. Yeah. And particularly when there's so many other great films out there, it's amazing. Uh, yeah, because obviously you are sort of in great company as well, but this has been really categorised as a sort of a cinematic sort of feature length film. That, that must be thrilling to all three of you because it does go for that kind of, that, that feeling in the, in the film. Yeah, I think, you know, when, when we started thinking about, I think there are very few stories which warrant the kind of treatment that we've given this documentary you know I wouldn't suggest that this was the right treatment for all documentaries but I think this particular story I guess warranted it and I think when we set out to shoot it and cut it that was something that we were thinking about you know that it should play to an audience who maybe would avoid going to see a documentary in the cinema. I mean, you've all done a wonderful job bringing this story to the big screen, but you still must sort of f think yourself so lucky that you, you stumbled across this quite amazing tale. I think it's kind of a dream come true. I mean, not necessarily the stumbling across the story, because there's a, there was a certain amount of kind of calculated planning in that, but the response that it's had from its premiere at Sundance to today has been absolutely a dream come true. So we're incredibly grateful that we've managed to get this far. And I think if, we, if you'd have told us at the outset, this is where we'd be today, we wouldn't have believed it. We'd taken your arm off. I'm looking for, oh, sorry, God. What they're forgetting to say is that people like deceptions and cons, and this is just another one, really, so. I'm just looking forward to when Charlie Parker finds, that here's the news, who, who's gonna call him and tell him that you've got all these nominations? Yeah, actually, we must, but you know what? He probably knows already. He knows Charlie already, Parker being guaranteed, Charlie Parker. yeah. <laughs> He's probably here with a secret microphone somewhere, anyway. <laughs> but thank you so much for your time, anyway, guys, and congratulations. Cheers, thank you.